students today we are going to see a new topic called anti malarials before going to see anti malarials first we'll see what is malaria which is responsible for that what are the species for that how it is transmitted how many hosts are there for this infection and how the mosquito bite causes malaria we'll see one by one Students, today I am with the topic anti malarials. First, we will see what is meant by malaria. You all have known that is uh, caused by a protozoan parasite of the genus Plasmodium. That parasite, no, that is having two phases one is a asexual phase, another one is a sexual phase. Asexual, asexual phase in man and, and I mean in humans, and a sexual phase in mosquito that is the female Anopheles mosquito that is the vector for this disease. And this is caused by, and this malaria is caused by four species of plasmodium genus that is plasmodium falciparum, plasmodium vivax, plasmodium malariae and plasmodium ovale. Now we will see the life cycle of malarial parasite. Actually it has two phases. One is the sporogony and another one is the schizogony. It involves two hosts. One is the insect host, another one is the vertebrate host. The insect host is a definite host and that is the female Anopheles mosquito and the vertebrate host is the intermediate host and that is the human beings. In the case of female Anopheles mosquito, sexual cycle takes place. In the case of human beings, asexual cycle takes place. Uh, this is otherwise called as sporogony and asexual cycle otherwise called as schizogony. The infected mosquito having sporozoids in its salivary glands. When an infected mosquito bites a susceptible individual, it injects the sporozoids into the skin. These sporozoids travel through the dermal tissues and they reach the blood. From the blood, they reach the liver. In the liver, they bind to hepatocytes. There are some specific receptors at which the sporozoids will go and bind. The sporozoids will be having circumsporozoid protein and they bind to CD81 receptor along with the core receptor SRB1 that is the scavenger receptor. The sporozoids infect the liver cells and mature into schizons and they rupture and release merozoids. So this is called as exoerythrocytic cycle that occurs in liver. After this stage there will be erythrocytic cycle. Now the merozoids released from the hepatocytes they will go and attach with the RBC. In the RBC the merozoids will get converted into a ring stage that is the early trophozoite or immature trophozoite. This ring stage would be converted into mature trophozoites. These trophozoites would be converted into schizons they rupture and release merozoites. Uh, this schizons will be containing 10 to 30, uh, 36 merozoids in the case of plasmodium falciparum. Different species of plasmodium have different number of merozoids per RBC. This counting the number of uh, merozoids per RBC give a clue in the identification of the parasite. The RBC filled with the merozoid will break down to the merozoid into circulation. Again these merozoids will go and affect the RBC and to continue the erythrocytic cycle of this parasite. This erythrocytic schizogony will continue for 2 to 3 cycles and some other troposoids would be converted into micro and macro gametocytes. This is called as gametogony that is the process of formation of these gametocytes. Next is the sporogony that is the sexual cycle of the parasite. When the mosquito injects the blood from the human beings, it also injects the male and female gametocytes that is the micro and macro gametocytes. This two will get united in the midget of the mosquito to form zygote. This zygote will be converted to ukinete which is an elongated form and will multiply and penetrate the midget wall and reaches the body cavity. In the body cavity, the ukinete would be converted to oocyst. The oocyst will mature and release around 10,000 sporozoids. The sporozoids that are released will reach the salivary glands and now the mosquito will become infective. When the mosquito bites, 
mosquito bites and another susceptible individual it transmits the infection and completes the life cycle that is the life cycle of malarial parasite